this class or in today's video i am going to first of all talk about the play the prophet the reason why i am talking about or the reason why i am describing the play the prophet is i want you to have clear knowledge of what happened you know every male person if he belongs to a poor family or rich family any boy in the world needs a life companion to lead his life so in the play proposal uh i must not call the main character of the play lomo lomo is the protagonist of the play proposal it means lomo a 35 year old man if a person is 35 years old we can no more call him a boy so lomo a 35 year old man was need was in need of a life companion so he was looking for someone who could be able to live the rest of her life with him and this was the reason lomo paid a visit to the house of his next door neighbor mr chubo mr chubo bob was an old man he was also a landlord like and mr chubuko had a beautiful daughter maybe the play says that uh, his daughter natalia stefanovna was neither too beautiful nor too ugly as well but i must say you know russian girls are regarded as the queens of the world so in my opinion in the opinion of an indian man or indian teacher like me i must go to the extent of declaring natalia stefanovna as a beautiful girl though i must not call her the most beautiful girl but she was more or less beautiful besides she was well educated and the girl though an well educated girl had a heart of gold maybe she was cruel for herself maybe she was a egoist she was egoist maybe uh, it was only because of the fact that she belonged to a rich family a uh, the family of landlord understood like mr chubu naturally it must have an influence on a character like natalia stefanovna you know every place has a influence be it school be it the environment that you live in or uh, your friends your family everything has got influence and influence is something that you can feel there are many things that can be felt not described they cannot be described there are many reasons psychological reasons as well like i'm telling you i want to tell you the story of a um, you know mine understood you know mina is a bird once a robber entered into a jungle he was very hungry suddenly he saw a bird it was singing on one of the branches of a tall tree and the song it was singing was very sweet and naturally the robber went to it near it and he wanted to talk to the bird he said 
how are you? He said, the bird replied that it was fine. Then he said in another language, how are you? Then he replied like in Bengali, Kamonachu. Then said Ami Bharwaj. Then he said the same thing in Hindi. Ab kaise hai? The bird replied and at the same time scolded him. Used foul language. It saddened the robber. The robber then came across another similar looking bird. The bird took after the bird in the forest. And it was in the house of a gentleman. One of the Purohits of the village. Purohits means priest. Had a minor. And it was in the house of him. When the same robber came across that bird, this bird talked to the bird. So was singing a very sweet song. It went to it. it when it entered into a conversation with the bird, the bird welcomed the guest to the house. Welcome, traveler. What do you want? It seems as if you are tired. Do you need a glass of water? Should I tell my landlord or the owner of the house to give you a glass of cold water or not? That was how the bird impressed the robot. The same person is experiencing two different behaviors from two different birds. Why is this happening? Ask yourself. It happened only because of the environment they were brought in. The environment that they grew up in. Understood? The bird that lived in the jungles, understood? Learned bad man. He didn't learn how to speak. He didn't learn what was necessary. He didn't learn how to talk to someone nicely. But the bird, reared by the priest, had learned good manners. It knew about how to behave towards an unknown person, how to talk to them, how to satisfy their needs, and what are the things that can keep them happy. Understood? This all happened because of the two different atmospheres that they grew up in. Understood? Am I very clear to you? Similarly, if you look at the character Natalia Stefanovna, what happened? She was the daughter of Mr. Chumukov. She got almost everything that she needed. Whenever she wanted a toy, she was given. Whenever she asked for a gold sheet, she was given. It means Mr. Chumukov satisfied her each and every demand for things, her wishes and aspirations. And this was the reason she, nothing was impossible, nothing was out of her reach. Every new thing that she laid her hands upon was won by her. Understood? Naturally, what does it create? It creates when you get everything you want, when you don't have desire for anything in the world, what does it mean? It creates a sense of what? Ego. And when you have a feeling, a sense of ego, this is a disease. And it separates you from others in the society. With the ego in your what? If you carry it, what? It has side effects. Understood? You feel different from others. You look down upon those who are poor, those who are not well dressed, those who are not understood, ready to accept your opinion. You must oppose them and you must fight over flimsy things like what happened in the play. They all, both the characters, Lomo belonged to a land, the family of a landlord. Lomo was also a landowner. And naturally, to them, the flimsy things, the flimsy things, unimportant things, were of great importance to them. 
and that was the reason they didn't think twice we were fighting over dogs over whose dog was better another topic was the ownership of the land called oxen were they very important things to talk about were they very important things to fight over no but they did it either willingly or unwilling they did it but if they had parted with that land if they had given that land to someone else would they have become poor they would not have become poor if natalia stefanovna's father mr chubukov gave that land away to someone or if lomov's aunt's grandmother understood had given that uh, piece of land to someone else lomov would have become a poor man no they were land owner a land owner can never be poor poor you get it that is exactly but if they are aware of what was the importance of land in their life understood they and if they had understood no ego if that most fear that they grew up in did not influence them or have influence on them understood they would have grown up like perfect people perfect people are those who don't get or oh, those those who don't fall victim to the mean qualities what are the mean qualities the qualities that you cultivate and that do you have all your life like natalia stefano was egoist was her ego doing her any good understood was can her ego change her into a very good woman can she be a good well wisher can cannot it blind her or you know if something this a sense of ownership a uh, bad quality can blind you blind you in the sense can make you behave like a blind person there are many people in this world they all of them understood almost 99 out of 100 will behave as if they don't have eyes do do they have eyes but they do not see do those eyes see like i'm telling you when we go to station we come across many poor people they are in rags it means they are wearing torn clothes they are the plight of those people sometimes move us we feel sad for them but we do nothing for them but if you give a rupee out of your pocket to the poor man you come across can you become poor no you are cultivating healthy habits nobody can make you poor unless and until you make yourself poor you are the son of an officer in future you will be a officer like your father who will get more than 2 lakhs 3 lakhs understood only if you cultivate good habits what are those good habits composed of waking up early in the morning doing your work in time if you prepare your lesson nicely if you tell yourself that i am going to come out first in delhi board understood that's how you can fix your board and you must work understood towards or you must walk towards your dream with dreams in your heart and once you reach your goal if you want to reach your goal what should you do what should you do you should have what courage you should have determination iron determination the determination must be as strong as iron and that's how you can reach your goal and can make or at least can manage to reach your goal and can manage to make all the people who love you very very happy but we see only look at the outcome of what will be the result of what you are doing no the result the outcome of a good deed of a good work is not going to benefit others more than what it can do you more than how it can benefit you. like if you become a iit engineer who is going to benefit out of it 
only thing that your father has got he is fa your father can take pride in your being an engineer but who is ultimately going to benefit out of it you you will benefit from from being the officer being an engineer understood nobody will benefit from your good work your good works ultimately will benefit you but these two films the characters we have become now aware of what happened in the play these two characters sometimes i feel, i feel, feel as if uh, they are uh, innocent poor characters they have not learned manners they have learned have not learned they didn't get chance understood to be well mannered as a result what is happening they are suffering they are suffering the consequences of their ignorance of a good life they are deprived of the decency of a good life good people or decent people or mother teresa like people or saint like people or very very good people understood in the world will not fight over dogs they will not fight over a piece of land to them nothing we have come with nothing shall we take with us when we leave this world when you were born did you will bring anything you came without clothes even you didn't have the clothes that you put on now naked have you come and naked will you go you have brought nothing and nothing can be brought or nothing can be taken by you understood so if we are aware of what life is all about we cannot make mistakes who is responsible for the plight for the poor condition for the miserable conditions of your life it's only you it's only you who is responsible for the plight for the miserable condition of your life you make your life miserable how do you make it you don't perform your duty when you are always aware of the fact that student life is the stage of preparation for future but you do exactly what you should not you don't wake up early in the morning you don't prepare your lesson you don't keep everything ready even you sometimes get late for school is this what a student should do you should memorize all your lessons you should keep all your teachers happy and if you keep your teachers happy today what will happen to you tomorrow you will have a bright future so if you are doing all these things of a good student who will benefit out of it it's you who is going to benefit it means those who do not do their duty when you are student you should do or you should perform your duties well and that's how you can reach your goal you can achieve your goal you can make impossible possible and all these things that you do are not done for others you are doing them for yourself you as you are going it going to benefit from what you are doing today. so all the teachers inside the class understood what the teachers teach you inside the class today or what you learn inside the class today will shape you so you need to be very careful about what to do and what not to do like it is said there is a phrase while in rome do as romans do if you are a student behave as if you are a student don't do things that show that you are no more a student and if you do not behave as a student you will lose the decency of student you will lose the flavor of or the grandeur or the debonia or the sweet smell of student students are like the flowers in the garden students are you know like the flowers make the passers by understood smile or 
bring smiles on the faces of the passers by similarly if we see students we feel very happy because students are free from all the anxieties to the parents to the world the students are the future citizens they are like the flowers in the garden and the students every beautiful things everything the students do are good actions and the good actions add to the beauty of the future of the world so if you think i am a student no you are the backbone of our society the tomorrow of our country so the future of the country is in your hand now you have to decide whether the future of the country will be good or bad Man. understood so the play is very very easy if you tell me this is the most difficult play i have been teaching this play for more than 20 years on what i have taught all my students is that everything that is taught understood either in the class or outside like those who teach outside the class means private tutors they will explain it if they explain it nicely and all the good teachers will tell you this good teachers to the good teachers nothing in the book is very difficult understood they will make them as simple as possible so in my opinion this is the easiest play and one act play and what you learn about the play is very uh, you know not difficult to understand understood uh, you know uh, and you know i feel sad for both the characters both lomov lomov has lost almost everybody in his family there is nobody to take care of him and besides he is a patient he is suffering from palpitation understood palpitation is a heart disease understood and he is aging as he is already 35 years old he is feeling for someone he wants he is in need of a life companion he wants someone to assist him understood or he needs a life companion to live the rest of his life understood and the purpose of his visiting or the purpose of his visit to the chubukovs was only to say to the chubukovs that he was ready to marry the daughter understood of the chubukov family and the name of the daughter was natalia stefanov understood but was there any love affair between them no even when natalia stefanov now was fighting with lomo over these two flimsy issues first boxer mido the issue of boxer mido and that of and the second the issue of superiority of the dogs they did they did have what feelings for each other when you are fighting if you have can you fight with your father the way they did no why because you have love in your heart for your father so if they had fallen in love with each other they would not have fought the way they did in the play it means what is clear to us is that they did not have love, love for each other it means natalia stefanovna was not aware of the proposal given or made to mr no. chubukov he had father understood so that was the reason why they were fighting like enemies understood another thing they were not in love because they didn't have love affair if they had love affair if they entered into a relationship like that of lovers they would not have fought like that the way they did understood in the play and finally chubukov was a blind person it means chubukov had a heart of gold for whom lomo he was a heart of chubukov had a heart of gold why because he fulfilled each and every wish of his daughter like a mother because natalia stefanovna 
lost her mother at an early age. It was Chuboko who had to do both father and mother to her. So she got almost everything from Mr. Chuboko. And Mr. Chuboko blindly supported Natalia Stefanovna when Lomov and Natalia Stefanovna were fighting. fighting. On one occasion, even Loma was driven out of the house. And when Natalia came to know about why Loma paid a visit to their family, then the same man was driven out of the was told. The same man means Mr. Chukupa was told to bring Loma back. It means Chukupa was ready to go the way of all earth for his daughter. The play showed what the real character, the real picture of what a father should look like or what a father does for their daughters. Understood? That's how the play had succeeded in presenting three different characters. Another angle to it was, you know, like Chubukov described his daughter as a boots for a merchant. Who was merchant in the play? It was Lomo and it was and boots was Natalia, Natalia Stefanovna. It means it is the reflection of the male dominated society. When he was overjoyed, when he did not know what to say, we end up doing things like that. And that was what Mr. Chubukov did. As he was a part of the male dominated society, naturally he did not think twice before saying that saying the things like, you know, a merchant has good calm for his girls, it means he doesn't think that he is falling from the estimation of others, from the society. But if it is a male dominated society, that is a different issue altogether. But Society is composed of, modern society is composed of both understood equal rights for men and women. The society that doesn't support only the domination by men understood will not accept that to be a very good statement made by Mr. Chubo. Is that clear? So, have I been able to give you a very clear picture of the play? Understood? So, I hope you have got very very clear idea about the play and now I will give you question answers and in the next class in the next class you please answer all the questions that I am going to give you can you do it and if you read it only once will it be very okay can you get can you get your family can you make your parents very happy okay that's all today then fine thank you and if you have liked my class please don't hesitate to share with those who you think can benefit from it is that clear? That's all today then.